In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this smooth zoom out warp transition inside After Effects. Alright, so here we're in After Effects. I have these two video clips that I place like that. Now the first thing we need to do is go to Effects and Presets and search for Warp. Now this is a built-in effect, and you will not need any plugin for these transitions. Now drag this preset on our first clip, in Effects Control, just change the Warp Style to Fisheye, and make our bend to zero. Now move to the middle of the clip, right here, and set a bend keyframe here. Now scroll ahead at the end of the first footage and change the bend to minus 100. Now if you hit U on keyframe, you'll see keyframes, and now select both of them and press F9 for easy ease. While selecting them, select Graph Editor. Now you need to make the graph look something like this. But you can experiment with it. Change it until you are satisfied with it, but don't go crazy or very strong. Looks good. You can also bring this one up so it pinches in first, and then warp out, which also looks good. So all up to you guys. So you can see the warp is being applied to this first clip here. I just need to add the warp out on the second one. For that search optics compensation in effects and presets, apply it on the second video clip. This would be the same as the first clip, but it's a bit different from warp ones. So what we're going to do is reverse the lens distortion. Make our field of view around 150. I think 150 works fine every time, so I'll stick with it. Make sure you frame it on your first frame of the clip. Then go around the middle of it and bring back it to zero. Now select both keyframes and hit F9 to ease them. While selecting the keyframes, select Graph Editor and make the graph something like opposite speed ramping downwards. Just like this, you can make necessary changes until you're satisfied with it. Here is a nice smooth warp out here, but we don't have a kind of zoom. It's just a warp one. It looks good, but to make it smoother, we need to add a zoom out effect. But before that, let me tell you about Envato Elements, our today's sponsored, which provides an amazing collection of video templates and a vast library of video assets for all types of software. With just a single subscription, you can download an unlimited number of video templates, including transitions, openers, promos, titles, and much more. Envato Elements also provides a wide range of software for which you can select templates. Additionally, you can also download stock videos, music, sound effects, graphics, and other valuable assets. Simply download the templates you need and use them easily by dragging and dropping. Check out the Envato Elements link in the description below for more information. So what we are going to do is add motions tiles, but before scaling up our footage, which will help us to avoid black lines around the footage. Once you scale up, just pre-compose the first footage. Now just trim that down to where you need to start that clip. Now apply motion tiles on it. Now make the output width and height 300 and check the mirror edge box. Now select the first footage and hit S for scale keyframe. Move ahead where our warp started in the footage and make a scale keyframe here. Now move just before the end of the clip and make another keyframe and set its value around 50 or 55. Not too crazy, but which suits you best. Now drag this keyframe at the very end of the first clip like so. Now select both keyframes and hit F9 for easy ease them and select Graph Editor. Now make the graph to look something like we did for the warp. Another cool effect that you can kind of do with this scale in or scale out just brings this a little up just like this. You can see if I play back it pushes in first and then scales out, which looks cool. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing, but on the second clip. Pre-compose the second clip just like the first one. Now just trim that down to where you need to start that clip. Now add motion tiles to it, or you duplicate the effect that we made by hitting Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Hit S for scale and set a keyframe with an 80 value at the beginning. Now move forward at the middle of the second footage and bring back the scale value to zero. Now select both the keyframes and hit F9 for easy ease. In the graph, make it something similar to warp on the second footage. It looks good. You can experiment with these curves and make your transitions look amazing, but don't go too strong or crazy. 
At the end, add some kind of whooshes. Here is the final result. Great! I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.